for another cool plunge in a new spot. A little walk down to the water. It is currently fluctuating between zero and negative one, uh, but the sun is out, so that's nice. But I guess it doesn't really affect the water. And uh, another beautiful spot in the Kootenays. It's about a, a five minute walk down to the water. Beautiful. It is uh, quite a beautiful day out here. I brought my sling to practice. Um, I also have my flute as well. Yeah, so I can uh, do a little training, a little martial arts, a little stretching uh, before going into the water. Oh. What the f is that? What's going on everybody? Matt Belair here with another cold plunge video. Um, on this one, the insights that I had that I just wanted to share briefly was, um, you know, doing the cold plunge, when, you're, when you know you're gonna do it, you can just think about that moment where you're gonna do the cold plunge, which is pretty intense. Um, and what I would suggest is to make the whole thing like a ceremony or a ritual. And what I mean by that is, um, if you want to just go out and do a cold plunge, you know, like an ice bath or something, you can do that. Um, but if you can spend a little time in your day to get out in nature, for go, go for a hike. Um, I brought my sling with me and I brought my flute with me. And um, I played a little bit of flute practice. I still need a lot more practice. Um, I practiced the sling. I practiced a little bit of martial arts. So the cold plunge was a part of what I was doing, uh, but not the entire thing. And I think that it's a good lesson for me anyway, as I'm trying to really learn this one, is that I, I have a lot of work or I have this goal, whether I want to um, create more podcasts or create a certain level of income or um, finish a project and I just have this end goal in mind and I kind of rush 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 around and I rush to get my groceries I rush to get the, the gas in my car I rush to uh, have phone calls and I'm not totally present and I'm trying to remind myself that it's the whole process, that's life, that's the level of awareness and intention you want to give. So when you go do the cold plunge, all of your attention and awareness is in the body, it's in that moment, it's in that breath. And so 
if you are doing things like the cold plunge or anything else, um, try to bring your attention and your awareness into it completely as you can. And in Zen, they talk about um, bringing that awareness, you know, not just in Zazen meditation, but in sweeping the floors, in doing the dishes, in communicating with your friends. And so it's just a little insight um, that I wanted to share, and it was what I was thinking about on my way down. Um, the cold plunge wasn't any easier than yesterday, freezing friggin' cold, um, but it is an experience. So that's what I have to say for today. Have an amazing day. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.